Hello, it's Monday again. All right, so today what we're going to do is uh, learn about some of the traits that are on the X chromosome. And these are called sex linked traits. So I'm going to get straight to the smart notebook and then you're going to come back and answer these questions so I can tell, you know, what you've learned today. All right, so here we are, Monday, May 4th. Um, you're going to start out with an Amoeba Sisters video. And as you're watching the video, you're gonna answer a couple of questions. Is color and blindness sex linked dominant or recessive? So you'll answer that. What is the genotype of a colorblind female? You can stop the video and, and, and then write your answers in. All right, and does the mother or the father determine the sex of the baby? It's kind of interesting. Um, while you're watching the video, you're going to be learning about another sex link trait, uh, color blindness. And um, a fun thing for you to do as you're learning about some of these traits is test yourself for color blindness. So the first thing you're going to do is look at the circles A, B, C, and D. And you're going to write down whatever uh, number you see in that circle. So for A, if you see the number four, write a four here. And if B, you see the number eight, put that there. Um, for C, whatever number you see, and for D, whatever number you see there. And then what you're going to do is pull out um, this, and it's going to give you the little clue as to what your answers mean. Um, so let's see if you're colorblind. Kind of interesting. And if you are, then you would know that you got that trait um, from your mom. Okay. All right. So here's practice I would like for you to get today. First thing you're going to do is you're going to tell me um, uh, about sex links traits. First, what determines whether you are a boy or girl? So XX means girl, right? So you can write that in up here. And then XY is for boy. I did that really well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and set this up. And maybe this is going to work for me. Looks like I've frozen here. And X, X. And over here, I'm going to put the dad. Then you're going to work out the pennant square. This should be a Y here. So make sure that really looks like a Y. Work out the pennant square and then do the genotype and phenotype. And you can see why there's a 50-50 chance every time... Um, when Homo sapiens have an offspring, that it will be a girl and a 50% chance it will be a boy. All right. The next slide I'd like you to go to is to look at these karyotypes and look at them really closely. Remember, we just found out and, and we have found out for a while now that it's the 23rd pair of the 23 sets of, chrom of uh, chromosomes that Homo sapiens have that determines um, whether you're a boy or a girl. And so you're going to look at these closely and you're going to tell me which one is a boy and which one is a girl. And you can just write that right over the top, whatever you want to do. Okay. So just write it right over the top. Okay. So look closely at this X and Y. The next slide, you're going to get a bit of practice and you might want to go back and look at that Amoeba Sisters video so you know how to set this up. Um, so what you're going to do is you are going to uh, cross a woman carrier with a man that does not have hemophilia. And I have put in all the, um, you know, the key for what you have to write in here. So you're gonna, it's a woman carrier. So that would be this. And of course my little thing is not working really well today. And you would put that here. And Oops, I meant to make that a capital. And with a man that does not have hemophilia, so. And I did the wrong one here, so I shouldn't do this one. He does not have hemophilia, should be this one. And then Y, I'll make a better Y this time. And you're going to work that out and then put in phenotypes and genotypes. Next slide, just want you to read this really carefully. So this time a woman with hemophilia. So that would be this and a man with hemophilia. And that would be that one. And you're going to work that out for the phenotypes and genotypes. And the last slide you're going to look at today, you might want to learn a little bit more about hemophilia. And this 
video right here it does a pretty good job in a couple of minutes of explaining what that is. It's not something we have to worry about so much uh, anymore because we do have uh, modern medicine. Now, this one's really interesting because we always learn in biology more about Homo sapiens than we do any other species. So if you want to find out how um, other species uh, sex is determined, this is an awesome video. It takes like three or four minutes, but it's pretty wild. So I highly suggest that. And then you're going to want to answer the questions um, on campus. All right, that's it.